All right, guys, today it's all about the battle of the booster seats. Well, not really about a battle, but what is the safest way to protect your child when you have them riding in your UTV? All right, so a couple things I wanna go over before we head outside to show you the different machines that we have here today um, is basically the two different type of booster seats that you see behind me. So this one is a normal booster seat that you would use in your car or your truck or whatever when you're on the highway going down the road. These booster seats are used quite often with a lot of kids riding in UTVs. Um, I've used this one personally and some others. Same with my brother-in-law, sister-in-law and different family members and friends. Um, for the same reasons that I have um, with our child. Also, this is a new Aces Racing um, Junior seat. So this is a new seat to me because I just bought it before our trip to Dumont, and I really felt like I needed more of a way to strap in my five-year-old to keep her a whole lot more safe when we're out at the big dunes and traveling at a higher rate of speed. And overall, what I have found out is that after getting this seat, she is more confident, she has a lot more fun on our rides, and honestly, I have a massive peace of mind knowing that she's safe. So that's what this video is all about. It's just our safety of our kids. I'm not gonna get into helmets and all of that other kind of stuff. This is just one aspect of safety, and it mainly deals with seat. So I'll show you that all through the video and kind of show you what the differences are between these two seats sitting in all the different type of UTVs and why they're exactly not safe and more safe and I hope you guys leave a lot of comments below to let us know what you guys' opinions and thoughts or what you have used. All right, guys, so this is the Ranger, okay? And as you can see, the bench seats on the Ranger are nice and flat with a nice flat back. So using a regular car type setup, a booster seat in a car, actually works on this machine really well. So you can come around with the seat belt and secure your kit in. And as you can see, the booster seat itself sits nice and flat and flush to the back where the child sits. This is ideal for these kind of seats. And as you know, as we go to the different models, the seats are quite a bit different. But this type of setup in the Ranger is perfect for a child's booster. And it probably will work for the Aces seat that I bought for, for a kid. But honestly, I think I would be pretty happy with just using something like this. So let's jump over into the next machine and I'll kind of show you what's in that one. All right guys, so this is actually um, my sister's and brother-in-law's machine. It's a turbo unit, Polaris Razor. So the biggest thing is, is that they have five um, people total. So they put a bench seat in. So as you can see, here's the bench seat. It's got three sets of harnesses plus a lower harness for somebody that's smaller. This is a great option as well to keep your kids secure. Um, I really like this setup because your smallest kid can definitely sit in the middle or you can have adults sitting on the end if you didn't have any kids in the center. This is a great way to do it. So they run the UTV um, accessories, mountain accessories I believe, out of Utah's setup along with all the belts. So this is an excellent way to really secure your kids in a safe way. The biggest thing that I'm going to show you with the Aces seat when we get over to the next machine um, it does sit the kid a little bit different than it even does in this setup. So if you're looking at getting your kid a little bit higher and whatnot, that's probably more the answer for you. But if you're really looking at doing a five seater, this is a great option. The other option is, is the Terex 800. As you know, I had a Terex 800, same with my dad, and we both installed a bump seat. And a bump seat was a great option that kid, you know, kept the kids safe, but also um, gave us five seats. So I'll throw some B-roll up of our old Terex 800s too so you can see that setup because that's a great way to go. Um, but as we walk through this, just make sure you can jump in our description and then the links below that will have links to these seats, the new Aces seats, and then the bump seats that we all ran in these machines. So this is a great way to uh, provide some safety for your kids as well. All right, guys, so here it is. This is the Aces seat. As you can see, I have the seat belt around it. This is what my daughter rode in the whole entire time at Dumont. So prior to going um, out on the UTV rides, uh, she was always sitting in a booster seat and she did not like it. She was screaming, she was constantly complaining. 
um, she did not enjoy it. So I bought this seat because I felt like I needed to do something to keep her safer when we went to Dumont in case we rolled or rolled multiple times. Um, so I got this Aces seat. So I put this in, this is a simple, um, easy insulation. I just ran it in a way that it just sits. Basically you just take it off and it fits right into the stock OEM seat. So this is a great setup because I just sat it in here. I adjusted these for her and they actually worked really well where they went. The only thing that I could change if you wanted to is you can undo the harnesses here, run them through here instead and around. I think that's a little tight for her and her helmet when I was looking at it. But the main thing that I probably would have done otherwise is I probably would have disconnected this one and this one and actually ran it through the side here, the slit and bolt it back in. Now that would be more of a little permanent solution if you're like leaving this in um, for her to ride in all the time. The biggest difference was is when she was in it, she can see outside the car a lot better, which made a big difference for her. And she can actually grab onto this because it pushed her forward and it worked out perfect. So with that said, she had a great time in this, no issues. We ran the biggest hill. She kept on asking to go up bigger stuff and, and all that kind of stuff. We had a great time. It made a huge difference and it gave me a peace of mind because this honestly was a million times safer than anything else I could have could have done. So let's jump over to the KRX and I'll kind of show you how this seat works and some of the different styled seats um, that you see on your UTVs. All right guys, so sorry about all of this. There was some really bad wind and I need to do a couple voiceovers. Um, it just didn't work out too well and I didn't really want to uh, play that for you guys and have to have you deal with all the wind noise. So here's the KRX. Um, we have the HSP seats in it. Um, and here's the Aces Junior seat. And as you can see, it fits nicely inside the HSP seats. Um, a little bit of adjustments need to be made with the straps, like always. Also, if you want, you could run those attachments through the seat if you want to make it more permanent. Um, otherwise, you can run it more temporary. And of course, I would get my little one in this before I'd adjusted everything and make sure that everything works. As you can see, the straps are a little bit high, but I would adjust all those and get those around to fit her. But it fits great, and that's the cool part about this seat. It fits great in the Pro XP OEM seats, and now it fits great in the HSP seats that we run on the KRX and we run them in the front on our Pro XP. All right, guys, so now we are over at our XRC, our Can-Am XRC, and uh, we are still running the stock OEM seats in this machine. So we kind of want to show you what it looks like to put the Junior Aces racing seat, um, racing seat in this seat as well. So as you can see, the fit is actually dead on. Um, the straps that we have, the harnesses that we have in this machine actually work really well with the seat. As you can see, after a few adjustments, it can be a temporary fix. Or with the four-point harnesses, you can run them through those sliders that we talked about on the side and make it more um, permanent if that's what you're looking at doing as far as carrying a little one more often. So as you can see, it just pushes them um, forward so they can grab the grab bar. It also gets them up higher so they can see out better and just have an all around better experience. Um, you can just tell by the way the seat sits um, in the XRC. So overall, this seat is awesome because it literally fits in every single machine without an issue, very fast to move around and uh, completely keeps your kids safe. It makes a big difference when you're out riding. Okay, so let's jump over to the Polaris Razor. All right, so here we are with the regular Polaris seats. And buckle these here. And there you go. Now I do would have to loosen this a little bit so it can buckle, but so as you can see, they fit in the player seats as well, really nice. Moving forward again, so you can adjust this and hopefully they can hold on this grab handle. Again, they sit higher, they're able to see more. Um, this is just a way more safer solution. And if it's more permanent, like I said, you can undo these and run it through these slits and make this more of a permanent seat, um, which would be a way better setup if you only have four people anyways and one of them is a young child. So as you can see in the Polaris, the Kawasaki, the Pro XP stock seats, 
and the XRC, um, they work great. Let's go back over to the Ranger. All right, as you can see, I have the child booster seat in here. So I'm gonna pull that down and put it on the floor. I'm gonna throw this up here, just curious. So that works pretty well. You can put the safety around her. Honestly, if I'm going with the, the Ranger setup, I kind of feel like this will work okay, but it might lean a little bit for her because it doesn't sit inside the seat as well because the seats are completely different. So I think running a stock car booster chair in this is more than sufficient, like I said before. Um, this will probably work, but I really think that would work extremely well, the car one. So that's just the big difference of when to use the car one. But let me show you the car one in a couple of these seats um, on the razors and stuff and just kind of show you what I mean. All right, we're back to the Pro XP. So here's the car booster. And as you can see, this car booster doesn't go all the way back to the back and stay without getting kind of crooked and whatnot and not very secure. A lot of times too, when your young kids sit in them like this, as the ride goes on, this will push out um, underneath their butt and they'll kind of be riding on the back of it. And then this kind of sits wherever from there. So you would try to like wrap it through here or maybe you can get it through that arms and sit them down. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I've had her riding in this and young kids riding in this along with my nephew um, and they're not great. They move around way too much. Everything's loose around them no matter how much you tighten it down. And then if you tighten it down too much, they're not comfortable at all. I just, I, I mean, leave it in the comments below. Maybe you disagree. I honestly don't think this is the route to go if you're putting a little kid in a UTV um, with these kind of seats. I just don't. I just, I thought about it long and hard and, and I just had to make a change on doing something, so, uh, you know, that's like a lot safer for her and uh, running around in the UTV and going places. So leave them in the comments below. If you disagree or agree, tell us about it and let us know. But I think this is garbage. And honestly, people shouldn't use them for young kids. All right, let's jump over to one more on my KRX. Okay guys, back to the voiceover again. The wind just kept going up and down, up and down. So here we go. So here is the booster seat from a car in the KRX. And as you can see, it actually pushes down pretty decently and fits a lot better in the HSP seats. Um, but it also kind of moves around still at the same time. And when it comes time to actually buckle her in with the harness, overall it does seem better um, than, than the OEM seat and the way it fit that but it still doesn't push her forward and make her feel safe as it wraps around her. It kind of leaves her open to slide back and forth um, as we're going down the trail and whatnot. So the booster seat does work better in the HSP seats if you push it in nice and hard, but you're still gonna have a problem with it moving around a little bit um, with your child being a little bit more um, loose in the belts and not completely comfortable. So it is better, but uh, the child seat uh, from ACES is going to work a whole lot better in the KRX as well. I know it might have been kind of a boring topic today. Sorry about the wind if that's been picking up in this video, but it's been kind of crazy weather after it was like perfect all week, of course. But this was just a subject that was weighing heavy on me, um, especially before we went to Dumont. And I just thought I'd share my experience a little bit that I was quite worried until I found a good solution. And I think you guys really need to pay attention to what you do for your young kids to make sure that you keep them safe. And this is one thing to do to keep them safe. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. But before we go, we just want to make sure that your little ones are safe. So here with Deranged Off-Road, we have decided to give away one of these Aces uh, Junior Booster Seats. So there's really no obligation. Just make sure you subscribe to our channel. Jump down in the description of this video. Click on the link to our website. When you get to our website, you'll actually have a little box that pops up. Fill out that information, that will get you entered. And come April 1st, we'll go ahead and draw the winner or put it on a number system and have it randomly draw. And then we will contact you through email um, and let you know that you won. And then we'll get it set up and shipped to you and get your address and all that kind of good stuff. So we really, really take pride in safety. That's one thing that we really want to make sure is our little ones are safe. So we felt what better way can we do that than giving away a little seat. So on top of that, um, if you get onto our website, you'll also notice that all of our products on our website are products that we sell, but we also have been running on our machines. 
So we have went ahead and taken on Aces um, as another product to sell on our website. So we'll have multiple different things from them on our website that you can purchase, including regular size seats, bench seats for the kids, um, harnesses, um, storage bags, all that kind of stuff. So, so jump over there and check that as well because we really believe in running products that work and this is definitely one of them that works and I was really, really, really um, impressed by the quality and the stitching of this seat and the, how well it was put together. So we definitely wanted to um, partner up with them and be able to sell their products, so we are on our website now. So just remember, in order to get entered to win, jump down in the description, hit on the website link, or go to our website, uh, derangedoffroad.com. You'll see the little pop-up box, fill that out, and you'll be entered, and we'll draw the winner probably around April 1st. All right? So until next time, guys, make sure whatever you pack in, you pack out, and this is Garrett with Deranged Off-Road. Mm -hmm.